James Gone and Crystal and Will. Hello. 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 Hi. We threw out all the riff racks, we've only got the quality. Oh, that's all, that's good. So we like a bit we of quality. quality. Yeah, we love yeah. quality. Um, we're going to talk to you today about um, creating things for autumn. As it's the autumn idol show, it's very applicable that we did autumn. So we've got a very autumnal theme. And what we hope you'll do as well is take these ideas that we've put together for autumn, but you can use them for Christmas. So actually with a slight change of ingredients or flowers or berries or leaves, all colours, you can actually make them very beautiful for Christmas, which obviously is not that far away. Exactly, exactly. So what are you going to do today? Well, I'm actually going to do a, an, an, an arrangement in a vase, but actually I'm going to be doing something that's quite different by putting twigs around the vase rather than having twigs in the vase, and I'm going to base it on a theme of white and green and black, which is still very easy with autumnal, so um, having a quite a modern twist on an autumnal, autumnal, autumnal theme. And you, Jane? Um, well, I've actually picked up this lovely cake stand from John Lewis on Saturday. £39. It's a bit grubby because the music for, but I'll clean it up. Beautiful, obviously, for birthdays or anniversaries. But also, I thought we could use it as part of our flower arrangement. Um, and alongside that, I'm just going to do some basic glass cubes as well. These, again, are coloured glass cubes. I think they're about £10 each in John Lewis. But once you've got them, you can recycle them. Fantastic at Christmas with red flowers in and silver flowers and gold. So I think a lot of these things that we buy, actually, we then recycle and use again and our favourite things come out time after time. Excellent. Okay, so what I've got here then, I've got um, a, a vase from John Lewis. Um, I think this was about £25 actually. And um, basically I've attached some twigs that you can collect from, uh, from the sort of garden or sort of go to sort of your local flower shop and pick those up. And then I've just bound them round with, um, attached them to the vase, to the outside of the vase, with uh, florist tape. So it's actually it's quite secure to the, uh, to the vase there. Um, and it just creates a different structure rather than having flower, the actual willow in the vase and then coming out. You've got this sort of movement of the twigs along the base of the, base of the vase. It just adds a bit more interest, especially if you're putting this as a table centre. You've got sort of iron twigs coming around the base. So all you need to do is just basically continue to add in extra bits if you need to and just add a bit more tape in. So it's quite secure actually. Um, and then I'm actually going to then just put in using some ivy, which I got from the garden, and I'm just going to spray, I've sprayed this black, and then I'm just going to put this into the vase and just attach it around the vase, use it around the tape, so you actually don't see the tape, just twist it through the, whip, the willow, just to create a bit of a sort of wintry feel. Right, I'm being very um, energy conscious, recycling friendly person, because I'm recycling my oasis. Um, this is just floral foam that you buy from a florist, um, it comes in, in bricks and about that sort of size. Probably about a pound of brick, I would say, from a florist. Um, I've used it this morning, but I'm going to recycle it again. And out of my one brick, I've actually managed to do all of my arrangements. I'm just trimming this bit down because I want it to sit quite, quite sort of snugly in the middle of my cake stand. So I've just kind of shaved that down. I'm just going to pop that in the middle. So as you can see there, I've just sort of got the ivy. I just basically, as I said earlier, just sprayed it black and then just wind it round the, the, um, the vase so you can't see the tape. But you could do this at Christmas, you could do it in gold, spraying gold as well, which would look quite nice. And then if you wanted to, you could put white lights on here. Um, you get battery operated lights now, and that would actually be quite festive as well with sort of apples or something in the bottom. So what I'm going to do then is just drop in, before I get all my flowers in, is just some green apples, just sort of ready to sort of pick up the colour theme with the green and white. But then it just gives that added interest at the, at the lower level. Um, I've had a bit of fun with my silver spray. It's not quite Christmas, but I thought it would look quite glam for autumn. So I've just lightly dusted um, this beautiful thistle called Aringium with silver. I'm just doing little groups of um, flowers because I want them, I think there is kind of a move away from having them all sort of dotted all over and interspersed. And I think you just make it look slightly more modern if you have some groups of colour or groups of ingredients together. So I'm just going to do that.